not to sound cliche, but I was living the dream. I had a good job. I have a strong family life. Uh, I have a wife that I love dearly and the kids that I love just as much. An 11 year old boy just turned 11 and an eight year old girl. Basically live my life every day in order to be with them and to um, be a good father for them. My name is Chris and this is my story. I was at my son's football game. He's a peewee. I had noticed that something wasn't quite right. I don't remember much of his game. I don't remember much between the time that I felt my initial lump and the time that I was diagnosed. And as it turned out, I did, in fact, have cancer. I had two treatment options. One of them was um, Bristol-Myers Squibb, and that was the one that we went with. The side effects that you would normally get with your typical cancer treatment was nothing compared to uh, the emotional outburst of my son. Um, because um, his first question was, are you going to die? My daughter was really too young to, to get it. He got me. And that was hard. <laughs> if BMS's drug wasn't developed in time for me, I, don't, I think back to my son and I struggle to think about what that outcome might have been versus what it is today. I received some literature from Bristol Myers Squibb about how they wanted to be the premier immune oncology um, paradigm in the industry. And that was exciting and I wanted to be a part of that. I live my life like I'm cured. I don't worry about anything in the end. It's, it's, it's about what occurred to me that made me want to be here more than anywhere else.